My name is Minister Barton Aaron Porter, and today we're going to go into our Heavenly Father's Word for another exciting Bible study. Now, I'm going to be using the good old King James Version of the Holy Bible, as I always do. So I encourage you to get your Bibles out and to study along with me. Let's approach the throne of glory. Heavenly Father, we are grateful for another day in the land of the living. We ask you, Almighty God, Jehovah, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you forgive us for all of our sins, wash us in his precious blood and make us clean, and fill us right now, Almighty God, Jehovah, with your precious Holy Spirit as we go into your word, the Holy Bible. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, we thank you, Almighty God, Yah. Amen. In the last Bible study titled, Who is God? We learned that God is the creator of all things. We learned that the word God used in most places in the Old Testament was a plural word. And that the Godhead was made up of the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. So today we're going to learn exactly who is Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, I want to start this particular Bible study with a scripture that we used in the last Bible study. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 4. There the wise King Solomon, being guided by God's Spirit, wrote, Who has ascended up into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? You see that? If thou canst tell. Now, we learned in the last Bible study that the father's name is Jehovah. Okay? So today we're going to learn about the son of God. In John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, we read, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And the word was God. You see that? Verse 2. The same was in the beginning with God. Verse 3. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Now you see, there's an individual referred to as the word who was with God in the beginning, and he was God. And he created all things with God his Father. Um, first John chapter five, verse seven says, for there are three that bear record or bear witness in heaven, the father, the word, and the Holy ghost. And these three are one, not literally, not literally one, but one in purpose. Okay. One, one, in, they, there's no, uh, confusion among the Godhead. Okay. They are in harmony. That's what it means when it says they are one. So who is the word? Well, we don't have to guess about it because John chapter 1 verse 14 tells us exactly who he is. It says, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the father, full of grace and truth. So we see the word is none other than the one we call in English Jesus Christ, okay? Because he's the one who came down here, took on a flesh body, and died for the sins of the world, okay? So that's who uh, Jesus Christ is. His name is the Word, all right? Uh, Revelation chapter 19, verse 11, tells us that his name is the Word of God. Uh, because when he returns, it, we see something very interesting here. Okay, let's read it, verses 11 to 13. Revelation 19. John says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he does judge and make war. Verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns and he had a name written 
that no man knew but he himself. Well, that's verse 12. Verse 13 says that he was clothed in a vesture, dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. You see that? So this is Christ when he's going to come back to set up his kingdom on this earth. Now, when we look up word, okay, the word word, in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible, we see it's a Greek word, 3056, it's pronounced logos. It says, it means something said, including the thought, by implication, a topic, subject of discourse, also reasoning, the mental faculty or motive, by extension, a computation, especially with the article in John, the divine expression that is Christ. So we see even the strongest concordance among the many definitions for this word, word tells us that this is Christ, okay? So he is the son of God. Now, why was God's son called the word? Now, that's a good question, I think. Well, I believe the Bible answers that. Um, John chapter 1, verse 18 says, No man has seen God at any time. That is God the Father. The only begotten Son, which is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. You see that? Now, when we look up the word seen here in the Strong's Concordance, it's 3708. And the Greek word is pronounced horio. And it says properly to stare at, that is by implication to discern clearly, physically or mentally, by extension to attend to, by Hebraism, which is an expression, to experience passively to appear. And so what we take from this is no one has fully perceived who God is, only the Son of God, because he is God just like his Father. And so I believe Christ is called the Word because he speaks for God, okay? It's, he came down here and revealed to us who God was. And, and when his disciples were with him, uh, Philip said, show us the Father. And, and he said, I've been with you all these years. He said, you've seen me, you've seen the Father. In other words, I'm just like my Father. I represent my Father to the fullest. Okay? So I believe that might be the reason why his name is the Word. Okay? Because he speaks for God. All right. Why was the Word's name changed? You know, why was it changed to Jesus Christ? Well, Matthew chapter 1 tells us in verse 21, the angel said, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shall call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. So the name Jesus means Savior. Okay, that's what that name means when you research it all the way back to the root. Um, the word Jesus, when we look it up in the Strong's Concordance here, it's the Greek word 2424, Iesus. And it tells us it comes from the Hebrew word 3091. And here the definition reads Jesus, that is Jehoshua, the name of our Lord and two or three other Israelites. Now when we look up the Hebrew word 30. 91, we see it's the Hebrew word for Joshua, and it's pronounced Yehoshua. And Yehoshua is made up of two Hebrew words, 3068, which is Jehovah, and 3467, which means saved. So Christ's name in Hebrew is Yehoshua, which means Jehovah saved. It's his very name means Savior, in other words. Um, uh, Joshua was also called Jeshua. When we look it up in the Strong's Concordance, it's pronounced Yeshua. And it says, for 
3091. In other words, it's the shortened form of Yehushua. And Yeshua means he will save. You see that? A lot of Messianic Jews and, and Christians pronounce this Yeshua. Okay? But the Strong's Concordance says Yeshua. And so that's why his name was changed because that name is the name under which we can be saved. He came into this world for the sole purpose of dying for our sins so that you and I could have everlasting life. That's why he said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You see that? And the Apostle Paul, being guided by God's Spirit, wrote in Romans 10, verse 9, he says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God has raised him from the, from the dead, thou shalt be saved. You see how important that name is now. Uh, Acts chapter 4, verse 12, the Apostle Peter said, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. If this particular Bible study has been a blessing to you, I encourage you to go to paypal.me slash Barton Porter and please give a love gift of whatever you can afford to give. Whatever you give will be a tremendous blessing to me. So, until next time, this is Minister Barton Aaron Porter saying, may the good Lord continue to bless you and keep you all the days of your life. God bless you and goodbye. Mm -hmm.